I'm gonna get that high. Anyways, what's <laughs> what was that? I was singing um to wake me up before you go go. You be hanging on like a yo yo. Wake me up before you go go. Don't 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 miss the turn. So wake me up. Before you go, go, you did 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 go and so low. Don't wake me up. Before you go, go, I never did I miss it. Okay, sorry, I don't know. I'll watch. I was listening to like this old '90s station. Oh, this '90s music. Okay, we'll talk about that later. But anyways, guys. What is good, everyone? What is good? Welcome back to the channel with your children, of course, Machiavelli. And today we're back with another speed builds. And today, what's good, everyone? What is good? Welcome back to the channel with your children, of course, Machiavelli. And today we're back with another. Like, what's good, everyone? What is good? Welcome back to the channel with your children, of course, Machiavelli. And today we're back with another exciting video. Wait, another exciting speed build. There we go. We'll go with that. Um, that sounds pretty good. Speed build. In today's speed build, we are going to be making a studio IKEA apartment. Well, it's a, it's supposed to be an apartment based on IKEA. Honestly, though, dead set, this has to be one of the hardest like builds I have had to make. Um, just the way that it is laid out. I one, I don't got the CC, and two, I want to challenge myself. As you guys know, I haven't been using at all the apartments and send my shoe. No, when I come to building apartments, I mainly just go on some blank black lot and I just built but I just want to challenge myself and I really wanted to make something that you guys could use so I am using an apartment inside my shoe my favorite apartment of all time inside my shoe I build in it all the time so building it um this will be up on the gallery under Ikea studios I just I just put it there so yeah it's a, it's a room of course it's an apartment based so yeah I want to go ahead and challenge myself in doing that but with challenging myself doing it it, it it just added to the difficulty because I just want again I didn't have the CC for it and if you saw the image and how it's going to look it doesn't look it looks like it you can tell that it was inspired by it but it doesn't look like it because again didn't have the CC and also just the, the layout of the room just wasn't it um it just was it just wouldn't have fit the the aesthetic of the image like there was just a, a bunch more windows in this apartment and I tried to like just figure the bed and put it different places but again it just nothing really worked and I literally was stressing out I'm like I just just not do it but I was like no I want to build this like you know what I'm just gonna make it inspired so it's gonna be inspired by this image and I added my flair to it and I love the way it came out like I haven't made a cluttered build in a long time so if you don't like clutter and clutter like gives you anxiety or when you see things all over the floor it doesn't like you could like like i don't put a lot of stuff on the floor but there are some few things on the floor and it's a bit clutter here and there it's a bit clutterful it's a small space and i think i added a bit too much clutter but if you're into clutter builds because i've been the clutter build in a long time you're gonna love this build because i added so much clutter clutter i'm pretty sure i've finished the build in like well, 30 minutes and I just spent the rest of the time just adding clutter to the build just adding sheets adding pillows adding um, furniture I actually forgot to add in some plates I forgot to do it so plates plants everything um, you can name it I, I had a lot of fun building this so hopefully you all enjoy it I hope you all enjoy watching it so yeah watching it so yeah thank you all so much for watching I really appreciate it um, a little side note little side note a little little side note i want to come here and thank you guys so much so 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 much for all the support and the love you guys have given to, to my channel i just want to show you guys that i really appreciate it that i'm always watching and i'm always grateful um especially that i since i almost lost my channel the last few days i, I just i just i really like honestly though when i was about to lose it because again i couldn't figure out how to get on and i couldn't upload it just kept on giving me errors i was like what am i gonna do now like i can't even talk to you guys i can't tell you guys what's going on like i started like like whenever I'm, I'm a problem solver and whenever a problem comes I solve the problem and so since I was like this problem I was, I was gonna give up but I was like you know what maybe just it's just time for me to take a break from YouTube and then so I was planning out my um you know planning out my whole days on how I'm gonna have so much free time because I'm not gonna be building I'm not gonna be making LPs and, th and then just the ache that fell on my chest I'm like I'm gonna miss it like I'm gonna miss talking to you guys reading you guys' comments um today we're actually gonna do some shout outs um at the end of the video we're gonna do some little shout outs here and there um because I owe you guys that and I, I want to do it. I haven't done shout outs in a long time but um just because it, it should have been shout out Sunday and I didn't, I didn't yesterday but we'll do it today but Anyway, so yeah, I just, I just, I just want to come and say thank you because you guys really, really are a big part of my life. You don't even, you guys don't even understand how big you guys are. You guys have been with me or I've been doing this for like three years. It's kind of like an addict, you know, it's, I've been doing this for so long. It's, it's kind of 
going to be hard not to do it. So yeah, and the reason I can do it because if you guys keep on coming back to my channel, and y'all, y'all, I really appreciate it. And the people that honestly watch, like listen to my commentaries, because I know my builds are not the best. And so I know my commentaries are the reason why you keep, keep, keep on coming back to me. And I'm a literary F, like my speech impairments, like thank you guys for not pointing them out because I, I my speaking is terrible um but honestly also shout out to you guys because y'all have helped me with my public speaking I am terrible at public speaking I'm bad but like since I've come on here and I've just made fun of myself I've just been talking like normal I've definitely seen a change in me public speaking so a big shout out to you guys for listening and giving me, give me all your feedbacks and again even with that y'all just been helping y'all helped me through my life like Anyways, just, I just want to come here and say thank you guys. Honestly, thank you for the support. I love y'all. I love y'all. Oh my god, I'm a weeb. But anyways, uh, <laughs> anyways, so like I was talking about before, 90s music. Can I, can I hear hallelujah? <laughs> because bruh, I've talked about the subject before, but no one can beat 90s music. I've been listening to um Go West. If you haven't listened to Go West, it's been good. I've been really wanting to watch Pretty Woman. Okay, so Go West made this song called, I'll get over you. I know I will. I'll pretend my ship's not sinking. And I'll tell myself I'm over you. Cause I'm the king of wishful thinking. I'll get over you. I know I will. I'll pretend my ship's not sinking. And I'll tell myself I'm over you Cause I'm the king of wishful oh, like, I love that song And so, um, recently I, I don't know, I don't know what happened I got to it, but I, that's my one of my favorite 90s songs It's actually from the 80s Ooh, it was so good song I actually want to go see, um, Go West Or, yeah, it's Go West Or, West Go, it's, it's Go West, I think In concert, but they're old now So I don't know if they're still doing it or not But anyways, I was listening to that song And then I remember that that song is from Pretty Woman. And then I watched the trailer of Pretty Woman with Julia Roberts and I can't remember the other guy's name. And I really want to watch it again. I watched the movie about five, five different times. It's such a good movie. And then I started reading books about Pretty Woman. Oh, not right. Okay, no. I started, I started looking at books about the movie. I don't know what it is, but Pretty Woman was such a good movie. It was such... What's y'all favorite, like, old movie? Like, Titanic. I know. I hate Titanic. Oh, no. Kill me. Kill me. I know. I know. All of you are going to diss me, but I don't like it. I, I don't know what it is. Maybe I got scarred from it because I watched it so much in like elementary school and high, and high school. You would think because there's a full ass like sex scene in the movie that they wouldn't show it to you in like elementary school but i watched it i watched it in elementary i watched it in grade three i watched it in grade five i watched it in grade seven and i watched it in grade eight i watched that movie so many times i have no clue maybe my teachers just love titanic but i watched the movie so much and i just i don't know i just don't like it i don't like it It just makes me feel weird watch it i don't know who it was maybe because i was such a pure kid and that's it i haven't watched it since element since middle school because that's the last time i watched it i haven't watched it ever since maybe i'll watch it again i'll, I'll let you guys know how i like it or not but I don't know, it just wasn't my thing. I hated that movie when I was growing up. I really didn't like it, and I still don't like it. But again, I haven't watched it in a long time. So maybe, maybe now that I'm older, I'm more mature, I will see. Ooh, ooh, my God. Sorry, I'm, I, have a, I have my desk set up. My desk almost, my, my computer almost fell off my desk. That would have been a bad situation. But anyways, again, I, I don't know. But um, uh, but yeah, what's your guys' comment below? What is your guys' favorite, one of your guys' favorite movies from the from the 90s let me know below because i am very curious to find out um yes yeah, so let me know i know you're into books so okay sorry i'm reading some comments but i'll read that in a second so yeah let me know comments down below so yeah i've been wanting to watch that movie and then i've also wanted to like rewatch because i love the series um 90210 beverly hills not, not not the the one i love the 90210 no but the beverly hills one with brenda and kelly and and um dylan and brandon such a good series i didn't finish it though i'm at the part if you guys ever watched it but um if you guys have watched it i'm at the part where kelly and dylan just got together behind brenda's back so nobody knows i don't happen i know that they're gonna have a, a child because i watched the new series it's kind of funny going back and watching that but i know they have a kid but anyways I, i've just been very curious on like watching old i don't know what it is but the 90s or the 80s it's been really watching i've also been watching on this old game show it's called um it's called uh something sweep something sweep um something sweep what is it called again um grocery sweep 
grocery something sweep i don't know something like that where like people have to like find stuff in the grocery store i've been watching a lot of those old game shows and like the things that people wear in the 90s were iconic literally iconic i wish i could pull them off i couldn't and it's funny to go back because nowadays if a guy wears a crop top like he's gonna be crucified like like you like you have to it's funny because you have to have a lot of like you have to be very like I don't know it's just weird it's not weird because it shouldn't be weird because you should be able to wear, you, you should be able to wear whatever you want but if a guy wears a crop top he's gonna be put in this category you don't know quite what I'm talking about you're just you're just, it's just you wear something and you're automatically put in this situation even if you're not they're just put in there because that's what I don't know that's what our minds are in the 2020 but back then I watched all these all these um 90s um shows and all these people in like California they all wear all these guys wear a crop top I'm like whoa what a culture change it is like how it was back then but anyways the 90s were lit i just i and after i also i also been watching um there's these like videos on youtube about like um last days of school like there's this one video like last days of school in 1990 something i can't remember what it was but 1990 something last day of school and then you just saw how they're all interacting it's just it's just funny because you sit there and you think about like what are they doing like what are these people like looking back on it because it's just i don't know it's just so much i don't know what it is but the past has been very the past has been very intriguing lately i don't know i've just been i have been living in maybe because 2020 has sucked so much but i've been living in the 1990s 1980s uh lately i don't know i just find that weird i thought i was a conflict about that today because i don't know i don't know what to talk about but um anyways now at the end of the video we're gonna do some shout outs because who doesn't love some good shout outs so first shout out is to alpha vic veronica I know you're into books, so I recommend this romantic book, um, Storm and Silence. It's about a girl who fought for women's rights and was determined to have freedom, but there's one powerful man standing in her way. Sounds a bit like a cliche, but cool. Uh, thank you for the comment. I will be sure to check it out. Why not? Um, the sneezing has me dying, but it hurt. It hurt so much. It's not even funny how much it hurt. Um, but that was from... Um, Je oh, oh! I'm gonna butcher your name. Welcome to the butchered family. Your name is Jamek, Jama, Jama, Meka, Jamak, uh, Jamaica, Jamaica, Jamaica. I don't know how to pronounce. Is it Jamaica Mokan? I can't pronounce your name. I'm sorry, kid. I'm not kid because probably, you're probably older than me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't pronounce your name. Welcome to the butchered family. But you know who you are. Uh, Doris Barner. Doris, I love you. Um, great apartment. I would live here. I would live there too. Thank you. Um, for the comment. Next we have is from Nice. Nip, nip, I can't pronounce your name. Welcome to Bertrand. Nip, I can't pronounce it. Um, you said love your build. P.S. Um, actually in Korea, if you want to call it your fan, your fan cam, you have to film it by yourself because it's a word called fan camera. I didn't know that. Cool. Thanks for letting me know that. Um, next we have is from um, Freddie um, Cadman. You said, oh my God, I remember this video. Hey, that's awesome. That's great. But um, anyways, I have to go ahead and end off this commentary because it's getting a bit long. But thank you guys so much for the love. I'll do some more shout outs tomorrow because that was really fun. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. Have a great day, guys. I love y'all. See y'all tomorrow. Deuces.